Hello my viewers, it's Adelike. I'm back again to teach you a small beautiful mnemonic on how we treat and manage patients that have myocardial infarction. On the left side of the page, I've shown a picture of the heart and which arteries, whether the LAD, the left circumflex, right coronary artery, posterior descending artery. Myocardial infarction, as everybody knows, it's predisposed from people that have coronary artery disease, usually from a plaque that ruptures to from what? A thrombosis, which is a fancy name for a clot. They always try to drink you. It's just a clot, right? It's a blood clot with platelets, fibrin, with what? With red blood cells in there. Now, when you don't have perfusion to the, any of the tissues, the cute little heart is going to die. Well, when the heart dies, you don't want that. But the problem, it does happen all the time. It's the number one cause of death in the United States. So in the hospital, they always give these dosages. They always give these medications. So what do we say? The mnemonic I came up with is what? Obama sings. You know what? I've seen Mr. Obama sing once. It's pretty cool. But you know what? We don't care. We just want to learn medicine, right? No matter how we're learning, who cares? So the first thing we want to give them is what? Beta blockers. Remember, beta blockers decreases mortality. Very, very important, right? Beta blockers is going to decrease their blood pressure. It's going to decrease their heart rate. It's going to decrease their what? Their afterload. You want to give them aspirin. Aspirin is what? It's an antiplatelet, right? Antiplatelet. So it decreases thromboxane A2, decreases ADP. You don't want the platelets to be aggregating. The last thing you want is the little pipe that's already clogged up to get keep clogging up, right? We don't want that. The patient is in chest pain, crushing, elephant on my chest, elephant on the chest. I don't know who goes around having elephants sit on their chest, but you know what? When people have MIs, that's what happens. It's an impending doom. Problem is you want to give them what? Morphine. Remember, morphine can cause an histamine release. And it can cause what? Venal vasodilations of their blood vessels. So it can decrease their blood pressure, but also can relieve what? Pain. You have to put them on ACE inhibitors because ACE inhibitors are also gonna, it's gonna decrease their blood pressure, it's gonna decrease their what? Afterload. Prevents what? Vasoconstriction over their blood vessels. And also prevents heart remodeling. Convey law. It's a good one. Oh, that's actually the blade blocker. So we take that back, right? It's inhibitor lysinopro, right? You give them statins. Ah, statins. Statins are really good stuff, right? You want to decrease their what? LDL. You came from the what? The cheeseburger from McDonald's. Ah, stop eating that stuff. Eventually, you're going to eat enough of them to be able to form a nice, beautiful plaque in their arteries. So you want to decrease their what? LDLs. Because remember, it's the macrophages that's eating up all this what? LDLs forming foam cells. Smooth cell proliferation that forms a plaque eventually. You want to start them with heparin, right? Heparin is going to what? Help antithrombin 3 to prevent you from doing what? Clotting. Remember the clotting cascade? Go watch the video. I've made one on that. And because of them, it's going to sing. You want to give them sublingual nitrate. They pop it into their mouth. It dissolves. It causes what? Vasodilation of their coronary arteries. It's also going to vasodilate what? The venous system. So it decreases preload, it decreases the heart, it decreases the work on the heart, so the heart doesn't have to work too hard. And that's basically it, guys. Eventually, you better take them to the cath lab so we can open up their coronary arteries, either by stenting it, right? That's the job of the cardiologist, not my job. My job is to teach you mnemonics that can make you remember this stuff, all right? Till I see you again next time, remember, Obama sings. That is a mnemonic for today. Obama sings. Is the mnemonic, and that's what we give for patients that have myocardial infarction. Courtesy, future teaching physician LLC. Till I see you again. Thank you for watching my videos. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye bye. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you learned a lot. Are you studying for the USMLE Step One or Step Two? Are you studying for the NCLEX? Are you currently in nursing school as a nursing student? Are you a PA student currently in school or studying for your PANS exam? Or are you a nurse practitioner student or trying to take your MP board exam? Listen, I've got super awesome content for you. If you truly love this video and it simplified your learning process. I want you to check out my website below. I've listed all the list of exams, whether you're studying for any of this board exam, and all I want you to do is click on the link right now below so that you can take you directly to my website. For USMLE, just go to smashusmle.com. For NCLEX, go to crushnclex.com. 
And if you're studying for the PANS exam, the nurse practitioner exam, or you're studying for your internal medicine board exam, just click below and it'll take you directly to ftplectures.com. Listen, I can't wait to help you. If you need to get in touch with me, just get to my website, you'll be able to reach me directly and we can work together one-on-one. -on -one. Listen, you're super awesome and my goal here is to help your dream come true. If you wanna be a doctor, wanna be a nurse practitioner, a registered nurse or physician assistant, I'm here to help you get to that next level. With your medical knowledge, let's save the world together. I love you guys. You guys are super awesome. And do not forget to click on the link below to be able to get to my website. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You guys have a great day. Let's go.